hopefully you will receive your kit from Eastfield College that has all the stuff you're going to need. Let's open up the kit, uh, Professor Arnold, and see what's in there. All right, we've got a collecting cup. Okay, we have a vial of peanut butter. We have uh, an alcohol jar, shipping jar, got al alcohol in it. We have a Ziploc bag. We have a paintbrush. We have some popsicle sticks. And we have a data sheet. And that's all you need to do the collecting. All right, so Professor Arnold is now going to show you how to put peanut butter on a stick. It's actually quite simple. Stick your finger in the peanut butter, and you're going to smear a very thin layer of peanut butter on both sides of the stick. Be sure and get both sides. And don't use too much because uh, we don't want it to fall off the stick. And you think, well, that's not much peanut butter. But you know what? If you're an ant, that's a lot of peanut butter. Now you've got it baited, you just find a place to put it. Once you put your popsicle sticks in place, you want to wait at least one hour before you go out to collect ants. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly an hour. If it needs to be two hours or three hours, that's fine too. So now it's been an hour, so we're going to collect the ants. So get your collecting cup and your shipping jar, which contains alcohol. So take the top off the collecting cup. You won't need it for a while. And pour all the alcohol from the shipping jar into the collecting cup. This will kill the ants and preserve them so you can ship them back to the lab. Here's one of the sticks that was uh, under the tree, and you can see there's ants all over it. You want to point those out, Professor? Okay, so he's going to go ahead and collect those now. Cool. And there's another stick also under the tree. Right there. And collect those. Cool. The beauty of the stick method is that you can't be bitten by the ants. When you pull the stick up off the ground, you tap it quickly. They're only interested in the peanut butter. They're not on the upper part of the stick. When Professor Jim and I went outside to collect today, we were trying to get this video made so you could know how to collect ants. But it was not exactly a good day for collecting, ant, collecting ants. Uh, we suggest that you pick a warm and sunny day. The ants will be very, very active. We took a chance. It was in the mid-60s here and it was cloudy. But uh, let me show you what we got. Uh, we were pretty pleased with what happened here, weren't we, Jim? Absolutely. Yeah, okay, so let me show you. This is actually a live image on, our, on the microscope here. And what you'll notice is that we've got a bunch of these black ants here. Their, their name is actually Little Black Ant. But we found an ant that we didn't expect at all. We don't know what this one is. We're going to have to figure that out. These little orange guys. Now, those are really, really tiny ants. Let me show you some fire ants over here on the side and you can compare the size. Look at those guys right there. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this some so you can get a, a look at what we're talking about here. It's really kind of amazing. So these big guys here are fire ants. You notice they've got the two bumps on their back, the dark, this is called a gaster, and the red body. Then you've got these little guys here which are actually called little black ants. And then we've got these little orange guys we're going to have to find again. So even though this wasn't a great day for collecting ants, we still found a bunch of ants. Okay, when you're ready to return the ants to us, you're going to put them in your shipping container here, your shipping jar, from your collecting jar. To do that, you're going to make a funnel. Take an ordinary sheet of paper, fold it into quarters, take the end down here and tear it off. Open up one piece on one side, three on the other, and you have a perfect funnel. Put the funnel in the shipping jar, swirl the contents of the collecting vial, and dump it in quickly. You have every last ant. Once we receive your ants back in the lab, we'll notify you by email that we've got them. Then we'll put our students to work to identify these. And as soon as we identify them, we'll notify you again. And we'll also send you some pictures that we make here in the lab of some of the ants that we identified that you, that you collected for us. We appreciate your help on this project. It's such a big job that we can't do it without you. If you'd like to continue doing this, we'd be delighted to have you help us. Now, it's real simple to do this. All you need is some peanut butter, 
some popsicle sticks, and you can use the ones that you already have. Just take a paper towel and wipe the peanut butter off of them. And the alcohol is nothing, nothing special. It's just good old rubbing alcohol. And again, just ship the ants to us, and we'll do the same thing again. From the Eastman College Ant Lab, this is Professor Murray Gans and... Professor Jim Arnold. Thanks for your help.